hello what's up youtube bronis with anatry and in this tutorial i want to show you how to easily color grade your wedding outdoor photos in camera Raw and also how you can easily save time to color grade more photos within camera Raw. so this is going to be a very important tutorial for most of you people that shoot events and weddings and you have so many photos to work with in camera Raw or even in lightroom itself so these tips you can apply the same tips within your lightroom so without further ado let's get started and if at all you feel like this video is going to be helpful to you or if at all you find it helpful along the way don't forget to hit the like button on this video so that youtube can recommend and push this to more people out there so we're just going to start working with these images you can see there's a reason as why i have put three images right here so if at all you are going to be editing a number of photos just get a reference image that is going to be more of a sample for most of a given set of your wedding photos for example this is a garden session so you have to get that and you adjust it and calibrate it in that specific way you want the images to be looking like from that session so i'm just going to come and i show you how i could calibrate this wedding photo so as you can see uh this gown right here or the dress for the bright is really blown out so the very first thing i'm going to do is coming to the exposure panel or the basic adjustment panel and i'm going to first of all recover the highlights in the image so just going to take the highlights down and you can see it gets back the information within the gown or the dress of the bride and i'm also going to do the same for the whites to encounter or get back the information right here so you can see the before and after you have the information back in the dress so after doing the basic adjustments i'm just going to come and also add a little bit of contrast because i prefer images to be a little bit contrasted and just turn down the blacks and i'm going to open up the shadows and that is it for the basic adjustments so i'm just going to add a little bit of clarity within the image up to around five five is great for me then i feel like i have a little bit of magenta within the skin tone i'm just going to take down the magentas towards the green side and that is going to remove most of the magentas from the image so next thing i'm going to do since i hate working or dealing more with the green color in its natural form i tend to tweak around and change some colors within garden sessions because most garden sessions usually have greens and yellow so i'm not a fan of those colors and they always want the bride and groom to stand out in this kind of session so i'm just going to come to first of all the hues and i'm going to take the greens towards the aquas you can see when you check the green slider towards the left hand side you'll be making the greens look like a color on top of it which is the yellows and when you take the green slider towards the right hand side you'll be making the greens look like, like the aquas so i'm just going to take the greens to the aquas all the way up and you can see it makes the image pop so much and after doing that i'm just going to come to my yellows and i'm also going to take the yellows towards the same direction but slightly and after doing that i'm going to first of all come to the saturation and i'm going to desaturate the greens all the way down so i'm just going to take out the greens from the image and you can see right now their attention is more on the bride and the groom and i'm also going to come to the yellows i'm also going to desaturate the yellows and you can see now most of the attention is on the bride and the groom in this very image so after doing that i'm just going to come to the luminous and i'm going to take down the greens slightly to have more definition so luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color i'm also going to take down the luminous of the yellows so i want the skin tones to be a little bit richer so i'm just going to take down the luminous of the oranges then come to my hues and i'm going to hue down the oranges so that i can unify or have a uniform skin tone right here so i'm just going to zoom in slightly with my zoom tool selected i'm going to come right here and i'm going to play around with this color up to a point when i feel like uh, the skin tone is a little bit uniform so that looks okay and i'm going to take the red even up just a little bit towards the oranges and you can see now the skin is now looking a little bit more uniform 
So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come down to my split toning and under split toning, I'm going to come and take the saturation up first of all. And after doing that, I'm just going to come and add a green color within the highlights. And you can see this transforms the image uh, to a whole new level. And I'm just going to take down the saturation, slide that down. And you can see this is what we had before and this is what we have right now. And the bride and groom are really popping out of the scenery and they are standing out and we have the attention on the bride and the groom. So right now, I want to save this kind of look to apply it faster on images that I have to work with in this session. So I'm just going to come right down here and I'm going to left click and I'm going to come to save settings and I'm going to save it as a preset to apply it on most of the images. So since I have the same environment that I was working with, it means that my exposure or white balance is going to be the same. So I'm going to leave everything checked. But if at all you feel like you are changing these settings as you're shooting, you can simply turn off whatever you don't want to be affected or consistent in your images. So after doing that, just come to save. I'm going to save this on the desktop and just I'm just going to name this to wedding. I'm going to hit save. So if at all you want to apply it on a different image or the next image, just come and select that image. And you can come right here and come to load settings. And you can come all the way down to where you saved your wedding preset and simply hit on the load option. And you can see it has instantly color graded this image for us. So if at all you want to apply it on this image, do the same process. And that is how you're going to be saving time if at all you have tons and tons of images. So I would recommend that for every session you import around 10 to 20 images so that you can work on them and after open them into Photoshop and later on retouch them and that is how you're going to be able to save so much time trying to retouch images or color grade and process your wedding photos within Camaro and Photoshop. So this is it for today's tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tools. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.